Lord's caliber. Bad mammer jammer. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Dog Pound. I am M Dog, coming to you from the beautiful but windy Bridgeville Rifle and Pistol Club here in Bridgeville, Delaware. Before we get into today's video, please do me a huge favor and smash that old like button. Share this video with a like minded, freedom loving friend or two, and then consider subscribing to the channel so you stay informed and up to date with any content get that gets loaded to the channel. It only takes a couple seconds of your time, but it is the easiest way for you to show your support for what we do. If you enjoy firearms, and then you will not be disappointed. You can also follow me on Patreon and over on Facebook at The Dog Pound with M Dog. This way you get to see everything that we've got planned for the channel in the near future. Also with the uncertainty and everything with the gun tubers and YouTube, right now we've opened up our channel over on Rumble. Um, you can find us over on Rumble, give us a follow, like the videos, whatever you want to do. Over there, we're on, we're uh, not the dog pound with M-Dog, we're actually dog pound with M-Dog. So if you go over to Rumble, type in all one word, just dog pound with M-Dog. Like it shows you right here in the bottom of the screen. Today I'm doing a review on a compact carry pistol that packs a huge punch. It is chambered in the Lord's Caliber. Y'all know I've been on the Lord's Caliber kick as of late. So it is chambered in the Lord's Caliber 45 ACP. Have you figured it out yet? Starts with a G and ends with a six. I'm talking about the compact Glock 36. Look at this little thing. Isn't that something? Weapon is clear. No mag. I've I've never seen a I've never seen a Glock 36. I've seen them. I haven't actually had the pleasure of holding one or shooting one. So this is the first. When it was released, it was the only Glock pistol equipped with a single stack magazine. And that's what it comes with, a single stack, six round magazine. You know, like really? Baby mags? Come on, man. But I mean it is a 45. How many, many diagonal rounds you gonna need in the self-defense situation? I hope you can hit what you're aiming at in six rounds. Actually, it's six plus one. Who's counting? The Glock 36 is slightly smaller than the Glock 19, Glock 23 size pistols, and it lacks the magazine interchange capability of the other Glock pistols. Like all Glock pistols, the Glock 36 has a safe action design with a trigger safety, a firing pin block safety, and a drop safety. Let's take a quick look at the specs on the Glock 36 chambered in the Lord's Caliber 45 ACP. This Glock 36 belongs to a good friend of mine who was generous enough to loan me so I could do this review for you guys. So you know who you are and I greatly appreciate you trusting me with this awesome pistol. That's a hit or miss, you know what I mean? Come on. I am a man beast. I'm no expert on Glocks. I own a Glock 19 and a Glock 43X and they are both great pistols chambered in 9mm. I have shot a lot of Glocks in my time but I've never been a Glock guy. Not that I have anything against Glock. I've just always been drawn to Smith & Wesson or SIGs simply because that's what I grew up on. 
that's why I'm excited to do this review for you guys. Especially on a compact Glock 36 with a single stack mag chambered in the 45 ACP. The ammo that I'm going to be using today is the 230 grain full metal jackets from Remington UMC. This ammo is another first for me too, uh, so we will find out how it performs together right here in live action. Hopefully we won't have any issues and it'll be a great day. I think we've covered all the basics so we have reached my favorite part of the re any review at all. It's time to go smash something. We're going to go spend a fair share of the time out there on the range reloading mags uh, since I only have two mags and they only hold six rounds each, you know, the baby mag thing. But any day on the range is a good day. So let's go. Glock 36. I'm going to start off at seven yards. Baby mags. <laughs> These are flush fit mags. Um, they're made just simply because uh, I believe when they come through, uh, if uh, I can remember right, when they come through, they actually come with the extension, a little bit of an extension on the M for your pinky. Uh, but they have the aftermarket, which, well, it's not even aftermarket. The Glock makes them. These are the flush fit. So that they flush, they, they fish, yeah. They fit flush. Now, granted, someone that's got Sasquatch hands, you're using a two-finger grip, okay? And it's got a punch to it, so you got to be prepared for that. It is a 45. But let's try it out, see how it works. And she's got a punch to her. And that aftermarket trigger that my buddy had put on this gun, it's so much sweeter than the Glock old mushy triggers. This thing is a, uh, I can't remember the name of it. Um, if I can remember it, by the time I finish this video up, I'll try to post it in the comments stuff for you guys. The only complaint I have is because it's so snappy, you feel it in the finger. Uh, old trigger beat your finger up a little bit but as I said these pistols just like this one are designed to pack a punch it's supposed to be carried a lot and shot a little just keep that in mind good grouping though accurate pistol with these uh, the Trichicon is that tri I don't can't remember the name of that anyway they're fiber optic sights on her uh, which are really, really nice. Trigicon, I believe, is what it is. I like them very much. They're easy to see. Low light or high light conditions. They are extremely easy to see. Pick up easy target acquisition. Uh, and it's easy to uh, come back on target once. Because you're coming off. Uh, she's snappy. So, But it's easy to find your way back. Got no complaints there, man. Cool little gun. We are empty. That quick. Let's load up and shoot a bunch more. A bunch more times. Okay, so we got another couple of mags loaded up. We're still at seven yards, uh, getting used to the gun. And it's a uh, it is a subcompact, so uh, you know, just getting the feel of it, especially with the two-fingered grip that I'm using with my Sasquatch hands. But the Glock 36 performs like a Glock. It's going to eat anything. It, it, it just works really well. Let's just go ahead and run another, another mag while we're right here. Trying to get a little quicker, got a little sloppy with that one. But the sights are dead on. I mean it's a it's an accurate pistol. Very nice. 
I moved it back to 10 yards. I mean, it's it'll do that all day long. It's it's just an accurate pistol. I'm highly impressed with it, and uh, I don't know if it's the uh, me getting used to shooting the gun, or if it's just the fact that my fingers got numb from the abuse it's taken from the trigger. I don't know. I don't know which one's which. Either way, I don't feel uh, I don't feel the pinch anymore, so to speak, from the bite from the trigger when the recoil happens. So I'm good with that. So we're just gonna keep shooting until we run out of ammo. Time to go load the mags. So we got two more mags loaded up again. <laughs> and uh, after these two, I think we got 10 rounds left after these two. So we're going to run these two through and then I'll load up another mag. We'll do a, see if I can handle a rapid fire with a, a two fingered grip basically on a 45. I mean, it's uh, she's got some snap to her, no doubt, but I think I can handle it. So, but we'll find out. Smooth as butter. It's one thing you gotta love about a Glock. Starting to get the hang of the six round thing now. Yeah, I'm enjoying this pistol. I really am. Okay, that was 12 rounds. So let's load up the last two. It'll be one full and a partial, and then we're gonna do a we're gonna do a rapid fire. So be right back. So we'll run the partial mag first. Four rounds is all it's in this one. We'll switch it out and then we'll rapid fire the last six. I wonder if I can hit him in the head. Okay, that was four. All in the head at 10 yards. Now let's see if I can hang on to this thing. It's gonna be a wild ride. Not a problem at all. Better than what I thought it would be. And we're clear. And that's all the ammo we got. For this review anyway. So. I hope you guys enjoyed this windy. But beautiful day on the range. And I hope you enjoyed this Glock 36 pistol. As much as I did. If you do. Don't mind. And you did enjoy it. Please do me a favor. And hit that like button. But. It's that time. Glock. 36. Lord's Caliber. Bad Mammer Jammer. I see it to kennel some of my final thoughts. Even after the rapid fire. Not complaining about that. Glock 36. I dig it. Bad dude. That dude had a bad day. Welcome back to the kennels for my final thoughts on the subcompact Glock 36 chambered in the Lord's Caliber 45 ACP. Well, I would have to say that this dude has a bit of an attitude problem. He's a little snappy, but I really didn't expect anything less. This pistol was designed to be carried a lot and shot a little. 
In a self-defense close quarter situation, this pistol packs a big punch that's meant to quickly neutralize anyone who is attempting to cause severe bodily harm to you or to others around you. For that, the six round mags are likely sufficient. All in all, I do like this pistol. I don't think it's something that you want to shoot a bunch at one, t at one time out on the range, uh, but I'm sort of a recoil junkie, so I dig it. Let me know what you guys think of the Glock 36. Have you ever shot one or do you own one? Is it a pistol that you would carry as your EDC pistol? Let me know in the comment section below. If you have a question about the Glock 36, please feel free to post your questions in the comment section below. I read all your comments and I will respond to you quick, fast, and in a hurry. Quicker than a hiccup. I hope you enjoyed this video and I truly appreciate all your guys' support. Don't forget to smash that like button and I hope you consider subscribing to the channel so you don't miss any of the cool stuff we have coming up. If you've stuck around this far into the video, thank you for spending the time with us. You guys are the absolute best, and you're the reason why I love doing this so much. Thank you to our product sponsors who help make these videos possible, Steel's Gun Shop over in Lewis, Delaware. If you're in the market for a new, used, classic, or historical firearm, then they are your one-stop shop. You can find them on Facebook or just give them a call. They have the knowledge and the inventory to help you find whatever your heart desires. Tell them M-Dog sent you. Thank you to Splatterburst Targets for providing all the high quality, high visibility targets that we use in all of our videos. All their targets are made right here in the good old US of A. You can check out their website for a complete lineup of all their products so you can get stocked up for your next trip out to the range. You guys will not be disappointed with their targets or their customer satisfaction. And thank you to our friends over at Ballastall Multipurpose Cleaner and Lubricant. Ballastall has been in business since 1904, so their products have stood the test of time. Their products are water soluble and non toxic so they won't hurt the environment. Their products are the only thing we trust to protect and preserve our tools of freedom. Get stocked up today so you're better prepared for tomorrow. And last but not least, spend time with those you love and care about. Time spent with them is always time well spent. May you guys live as long as you want and never want as long as you live. Shoot straight, shoot often, be safe, and God bless. And get your butts out of the wind before you get blown away. That's what I'm going to do. I'm M-Dog, and I'll see y'all right here next time on the Dog Pound. Glock. 36. Chambered in the Lord's Caliber. 45 ACP. And it's ready to go because it's cold. And we gone. Boom.